Hey boss, we have a guy using an aimbot on the team SWAT match. Should we send the ban hammer? Send the player a warning. If he doesn't get rid of them by the next match, then send someone in. Sure thing. Hey, James, why exactly are we guarding this base? It's not like players are going to come in and attack us. Dude, remember how Chaos Theosis managed to get into that Tosser server a couple of years back? They've had to beef up security to make sure shit like that doesn't happen again. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Still, I think it's pretty dumb. Eh, it's easy money. Hey, did you see that Kelly got a new chess piece for her Spartan? Hell yeah. She's looking thick as fuck. I hear you, man. <laughs> Holy fuck! That was disturbing to hear. This is Deathlock. I've made it into the server. Proceeding to the moderator surveillance area. Eliminate all moderators in the server, and then find the mainframe and upload the virus. I will be watching your back for any other potential hostiles. Copy that. I'm moving in. What happened here? Deathlock happened. Security tapes confirmed his armor scheme and abilities. Why come here though? What was this place? Surveillance hub as far as I know. Mostly to track hackers. Not just big offenders like Deathlock or Chaos Theosis, but also some smaller ones like aimbot hackers who just want to troll online. You probably attacked to stop surveillance. But why? The OMN will just reboot it and increase security. My guess? Probably to hide something they didn't want us to see. Seems like a lot of trouble to go through just for that. Agreed. I'll ask Jay to get someone to re-review the recordings to make sure we didn't miss anything. Speaking of which, where's your friend? He's grounded from the Xbox today. <laughs> Are you serious? How old was he again? Older than me, technically. That's the sad part. I'm living with a man-toddler. I think the term is man-child. Trust me, that term is an overstatement when talking about Chief. Well, if Deathlock was here, he's not anymore. He likely would have shown himself by now. Agreed. I'm going to speak to Harrington. All right. I'll see what I can figure out over here. Arbiter. What the fuck are you doing? Carbiner? 
Carpenter, does someone need a hug? Come on. Bro hugs, not hugs. For fuck's sake. What the fuck is wrong now, Orbiter? Is it Claire again? Well, Demo, your mom. Because nothing wrong with that ass. Forty-five degree angle now face. Arbiter, 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 arbiter. Pitch, 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 pitch. Why you no answer, motherfucker? When I said I wanted you to shut up forever and ever, this are not what I meant. Talk you fucking queef. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm trying to meditate. Sub-Zero recommended it to me and it's been going great until your dumb ass came and broke my concentration. I tried ignoring you in the hopes that you would get angry and leave but apparently I can't go without being annoyed for 5 fucking seconds. Thanks so much asshole. Whoa, 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 why are you meditating? Deathlock attacked an OMN surveillance cop and I'm trying to meditate on the footage I saw to see if there was something we probably missed. Why doesn't you just rewatch the fucking footage again? You don't think I did moron? If he did something while he was there, he was good at making sure he was covering his tracks. I was hoping meditating could help in figuring out exactly why he was there. That doesn't make any sense. How the fuck can you be good at covering up tracks? All you gotta do is throw a mud on Oh them. my god, I can't even take the stupidity you have in the fresh air. I'm going inside before I suffocate. Your mom was sarcophagusing last night. Whoa. What are you doing? I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto 5, hopefully without you bugging the living hell out of me. Wait one single second, didn't the fourth one come out like two months ago? You're kidding me, right? What rock have you been living under for five fucking years? The fourth one came out in 2008. It's 2013, you imbecile. What? Sigh. I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you anymore. Up. Got a message. Who's it from? An old friend. Michelle. Hey, Arbiter. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. How's life? Sometimes good, sometimes bad, and sometimes both. Thanks for meeting with me. I still feel guilty about what happened with Eugene. Last time I talked to him, he told me about what happened with his sister, and that he needed me. And I shut him away. Maybe if I hadn't done that, he'd still be alive. Don't put that on yourself. Any normal person would do what you did in the situation you were in with everything you knew about what he had done. If anyone deserves the blame, it was me. I was the one who told you about Colin and everything Eugene had done. That caused the dominoes to fall. I probably would have found out either way. I guess... In some way... It was both of our faults. Did you talk to Autumn about it? How do you know Autumn? I recently joined a squad of OMN sanctioned hackers that remove hackers like Eugene and Chaos the Osis from the network. She's one of the members. I was told about your relationship with her through one of the teammates. Autumn hasn't talked to me since it happened. I guess she blames me in some way. I tried to talk to her about it, 
but she just gives me the same glance of contempt that she's shown me since she found out about Eugene's death. She's got quite the personality. Huh. <laughs> that she does. If anything, I'm glad she's at least doing some good with her life. I don't want anyone to go through what others did with Eugene and his clan. What did he call them again? The new trollers. Though he didn't really flaunt the name much. Wasn't there a clan called Noob Control at some point? Dear God, please don't bring up those asshats. I knew the leader of that clan and he was a complete douchebag. Good thing they ended up disbanding. What did he do? I'd make a list but we'd be here for decades. <laughs> that bad, huh? Yeah. Do me a favor. Next time you date a guy make sure he isn't a complete sociopath and isn't friends with complete psychopaths. Oh, believe me. I'm definitely setting my standards much higher these days. Good to hear. Yeah. Does it have explosions in it? Sarah, you know I like movies that have a lot of explosions. Come on, Firecracker. Michael Bay films are masterpieces. No, I'm not saying that just because they're littered with things that blow up. All right, fine, since I picked the movie the last time. Yeah, John Carter works out fine. All right, I'll be at your apartment by 8 o'clock p.m. Love you too, Firecracker. See you then. Firecracker, really? How romantic. Shut up, Nick. At least I have a girlfriend. Mate, I'll bet ten pounds that you fake that phone call. You wish, asshat. Oh my god, would you both shut up? Who gives a shit? Jason, obviously. Wasn't asking for your input, Brandon. Hey, you asked. All of you, quiet. Jay's coming here soon to get your inputs on what happened at the surveillance hub with Deathlock. So watch what you say when he gets here. Where's Arbiter in Chief? Who do we look like, Dunkard? They're babysitters? How the fuck should we know? Sorry. We got caught up in something. Kill Arbiter's mom. I'm going to slap you. Only punk ass bitches slap Arbiter. Real men punch. Ow. Oh. There's another one for you if you mount off again. I only mouth off on your mom's vagina, bitch. Shut up. No, you. All right, quiet. Jay's going to be here in a second to go over the details of what happened at the surveillance hub earlier. Has he found anything? Not yet. That's why I called everyone here. One of you guys might catch something we didn't. Right, because we know all about how the OMN surveillance works, Duncan. I was debating on whether or not to even ask you to come, Nick. Mostly because I figured you'd be too buried in porn to actually be paying attention. Fuck off, Duncan. Both of you, shut the hell up! Neither of you are adding anything important to the conversation. And I'm honestly getting sick and tired of all the bullshit you've screwed back and forth at each other. Grow the fuck up! Alright guys, let's just chill out, okay? There's no need for hostility. Hey. He started it. I don't give a shit if it was Chief who started it. You didn't need to open your mouth and make a smart ass remark. God damn it, this is fucking boring. I wanna blow shit up. Arbiter, can we go after Deadlock and that fucker from the X-Mans already? What are you even talking about? You mean Deathlock and Speed Zone? For the record, we don't even know where to start looking dipshit. Well, perhaps this footage can tell one of us then, Mr. Arbiter. Harrington, you have the footage? Of course. As most of you are well aware, one of our main surveillance hubs overseeing Halo Reach player morale was attacked by the hacker known as Deathlock. We know that it was a premeditated attack, but what we don't know is why. We were hoping that one of you could see something that we can. Oh, that's fucking dope. Hold up, what's the large structure formation in the middle of the room right there? The one the EMP grenade blew up by? That is one of the mainframes that leads directly into the OMN mainframe network and grants moderators access to all of our surveillance data. Mr. Harrington, if it's all the same to you, I'd like to have access to the OMN mainframe network momentarily. Mr. Edwards, with all due respect, you do not have the proper authorization to access the mainframe network. Jay, if Deathlock did what I think he did, you'll be glad that you gave me momentary access. What do you think he could have done to the mainframe with an EMP grenade? 
It acts as any normal structure in Halo Reach. It cannot be destroyed by any weapons. That's not my point. I believe that EMP grenade wasn't an EMP grenade at all. I think Deathlock might have uploaded a virus into your system with very sophisticated software modifications. You have momentary access, Mr. Edwards. We'll be watching you, though. Don't worry, I won't be long. All right, let's see here. Open up megabreaker.exe, input variables, check for anomalies, system scan for viruses, re-input for Trojan horses. All right, let's see what we got. No, not that. Huh? What's this? Hello there. Let's see what's behind door number one. All right, I think I found the... Oh, shit! What? What is it? Oh, it's a virus, all right. A huge one. I don't think I've seen one of this caliber before. This is heavy-duty stuff right here. I'm talking the FBI server-breaking kind of stuff. What's it doing? From what I can tell, it's copying all the data in the mainframe and then prepping it to transmit to another mainframe, not one of yours. Then it begins corrupting the files, including online accounts of the OMN's list of players it works with. Oh, shit! That includes us! What the fuck are you doing talking about it? Get rid of that bloody thing! Working on it! Damn, this is a fast little bitch! Hurry! Concentrate, Brandon. You can do the assault faster, Brandon. I'm not losing my halos because your retarded ass couldn't fix a fucking flu. You're not helping! Shut up, Chief. No, you. Almost got it. Almost. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch! You got it? Fuck yeah, I did! I came, I saw, I kicked its ass! My man! Bloody hell, mate, that was fucking terrifying for a second. Yeah, yeah, nice job. Go get yourself a fucking cookie. Not a bad idea. Though I do have one question. Why the fuck was there a mainframe into the main server in a random surveillance hub, huh? All surveillance hubs have a mainframe that leads to the OMN administration mainframe network. I'll have to speak with the other administrators about increasing security measures to prevent future cyber attacks such as today's from happening again. You're sure you removed all of the virus, right? Yeah, it was a tricky little bug too. It was bouncing from server to server. However, it was also getting predictable. Once you knew where it was going, it was only a matter of time before you ended up nailing it. Well, on behalf of the other administrators, let me express my adulation for removing the virus. The mainframe network houses terabytes upon terabytes of data on every multiplayer game since the OMN first started. Who knows what could have happened if it fallen into less than amicable hands. Yeah, am I going to get paid for doing this? No. Damn. Hey, look at the bright side. At least our accounts didn't get corrupted. Good job, Branson. Know what time's it now? Time to break out the booze. Let's get wasted as fuck cunts. That's something I'm 100% up fuck for. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm a fucking up for that. For once, I can agree on that. Carpenter, where's the booze, motherfucker? You better not have hoarded it all again. What is it, Arbiter? The danger passed. Yeah, I know. Still something feels off. I feel there should have been more to it than that. What else could there have been? That's what I'm going to try and find out. Did it work? Exemplarily done, Deathlock. The online multiplayer network administration found the virus we implanted as predicted. However, they failed to realize that the virus was merely a distraction. They were searching for a virus. What they should have been searching for was an artificial intelligence fragment. A fragment of Brother Eye. Correct. A fragment of Brother Eye programmed to collect information and transmit it to me under the guise of an online multiplayer network mainframe. The information it collected so far has been intriguing. It has allowed me to delve deeper into the subconscious of these individuals the online multiplayer network administration calls the Hacker Removal Squad. A prosaic name if there ever was one. From there, I have contracted psychological profiles on each member, noting their individual weaknesses. So what, we can see like which porn sites they're subscribed to, or which Facebook profiles are stalking? Maybe credit cards and social security numbers? Nothing quite so rudimentary. The data is video and audio files, including their voices over a microphone. A more advanced version of the theater mode from the Halo games. 
It is in these files that I find one player to be most intriguing. He calls himself the Arbiter. How felicitous. What I've seen so far of him is intriguing, though I will have to go deeper into his history to know more about him. What I do know is he is resourceful, perceptive, but shows possible cases of nihilism. There is something else about him as well, but I can't quite put my finger on it as of yet. He also has a friend who accompanies him much of the time, one who calls himself Master Chief. Unlike the Arbiter, however, this one seems more nonsensical and simple-minded, not one I need to concern myself with. There is not much there to look at. However, he is one to look out for in the event one of you comes into contact with them. Who wants to take them out? Say the word, Brainiac, and we'll hit them before they even know we're there. No, not yet. We should learn more before attempting such possible folly. These are the same two that took out the Venatar armored player that called himself Ultron. We should be careful not to underestimate them as he did. So, what do we do now? Sit around with our thumbs up our asses while we wait for one of your brilliant plans? Overlooking your insolent tone, it just so happens that I have a job for both of you. We're listening. Yeah, I was marrying this guy called Trent Donovich, and they actually came and crashed the wedding to tell me that Trent was having an affair with this chick who was helping with construction on that church. I still can't believe you tried to have a wedding on Halo Reach and didn't expect anything to happen. To be fair, we did have an OMN monitor overseeing the wedding and two guards to oversee security. An arbiter gave me his word that he wouldn't let Chief blow up the fusion coils. Funny how things turned out in the end. Were you mad at him? At first, yeah, I kind of was. But considering what Trent had done and the lengths he went to try and silence them, I understood completely. We both made bad calls with the guys we were with, and if it wasn't for him, who knows how our lives would have turned out. Yeah, can't argue with that. Claire, Michelle, I didn't know you two knew each other. Speak of the devil, we were just talking about you. Yeah, we actually just met today. Turns out me and Michelle have a lot in common. We've both been in a relationship with an ass who was keeping things from us until you came along and cleared everything up. Oh boy, what did she tell you? <laughs> everything. Really? Everything? Well, except maybe that one thing. What is it? Come on, tell me! Trust me, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. So, what are you doing here? I had some free time. I saw you two were in the same game and decided to drop by and say hi. Not to mention figure out how you two knew each other. How about you two? Are you waiting on something? Someone, actually. Claire and I got invited to some clan. We're waiting on the leader to show up. Met him once before. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Does he have a name? Yeah, Seth. Kind of like Seth MacFarlane. Just not the same voice. I've caught a few episodes of some of his shows. His humor is more of Chief's thing, though. So when's this guy supposed to come by? He said he'd be here in about five to ten minutes. Oh, there he is now. Hey, Seth. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Claire. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up in some t clan stuff. Who is this? Arbiter, this is Seth. The guy who wanted to invite us to his clan. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in the way. The famous Arbiter, huh? Heard so much about you. 